Well, it could be a whole new dimension in healthcare. 3D printing, technology already being used to make car parts and toys. The printer produces solid objects in almost any shape or size. And what has everyone excited is the unlimited potential in medicine to make made-to-order replacement body parts. Here's CTV's medical specialist, Davis Favreau. Every breath has been a struggle for baby Garrett. Born with a deformed airway, he needed a ventilator to breathe for him. When the nurses would just move his head from side to side, he would just turn blue, like instantly. But doctors say he now has a chance at a normal life because of this. A splint to keep his trachea open, created with a 3D printer. The device was implanted around his airway to keep it open, and Garrett is now slowly learning to breathe on his own. It takes about three years for the material to degrade. By that time, the trachea itself will grow and uh, remodel into a, a trachea that has a normal, essentially, architecture. It's only the second time in the world this has been done. The first patient with a 3D printed trachea is now two and doing well. This printer at Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children is creating 3D models of patients' hearts. So we're going to make a tunnel from there to there, is that yeah, correct? That's correct. Images from two-dimensional CAT scans or MRIs are used to make these realistic plastic replicas to help doctors better plan surgery. Instead of having to do that in my mind, I can take this model, which does it in a printed form, and look at it and say, I know exactly what it is, and I know exactly what I'm going to do in the operating room. We're so excited about being able to do this and be able to help patients with this new technology. In fact, layer by layer, replacement parts are being created for much of the human body, ears and noses, with doctors in the UK recreating this man's face with models, plates and screws produced by 3D printers. You wouldn't look at me to think, oh, that person's had a bad accident. I, I just look normal. Doctors say it's technology that improves their accuracy and speeds up time in surgery, saving lives by pressing print. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto. Remarkable. Well, that's our newscast for this Saturday. Thank you for sharing your time with us. I'm Sandy Ronaldo. Good night until tomorrow.